Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you like this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing the Omega Seamaster Professional Diver 300 meter, the famed Bond SMP. This is the watch in the form it took between roughly 2006 and 2011, back when the Omega Wave was still part of the dial composition and before the arrival of the ceramic bezel, but after the printed dials. This is an all-applied applique dial. The watch, the same form we remember pre-2018, 41 millimeters in diameter, absent helium valve, absent crown and crown guards, 12.7 millimeters. These got thicker and thicker over time. The 2018 watch is almost 14 millimeters thick, back then 12.7. Lug to lug, 47.5 millimeters. When you include the solid end links of the bracelet, 52 millimeters and 20 millimeter lug spacing. The timepiece back in the 2006 to 2011 span was still very much in the image of the timepiece Pierce Brosnan wore as 007. Even though by 2006 he had handed off the roll, fans still remember this watch fondly from the Brosnan era. You can see the bracelet is still very much of the Brosnan era as it features pin sleeves rather than screws for sizable links, but the handsome and versatile aesthetic that we associate with the Seamasters from that era, it's neither a dress watch bracelet nor explicitly a sports watch bracelet. It has elements of both with the rounded profiles of the flanking links and the small polished intermediates to break up the mass of metal. Big gaps on the underside to avoid pinching skin, pulling hair, or trapping heat. This bracelet ventilates well. A very sturdy clasp. This was a revelation back in the 1990s when Omega first launched it, a diving clasp that was machined from the solid rather than stamped like what was then the Rolex Oyster clasp. It also included a relatively solid machined rather than stamped dive extension, again showing up Rolex with tw twin trigger release rather than clamshell action. This was the clasp that forced Rolex to reconsider its clasp quality. Now jumping back to the case, you can see flush sides, satin finished, the helium escape valve all in high poly for you saturation divers. For everyone else, well, James Bond once used it as a grenade, so that'll have to be your conversation starter since you will not be diving with exotic mixtures. Crown guards, really strong sheer protection and a highly recessed crown, more deeply recessed and countersunk than on most divers. These are exceptionally functional crown guards. The bezel, as ever, flat in its plane and relatively minimalist. It can be a little bit of a challenge to grip with wet, sweaty, or gloved hands, but the detent is first class. It's chunky, mechanical, positive, and rewarding. Line up the index with the skeleton style bond minute hand, and yes, we do call these the bond skeleton hands, and you'll find you have an impromptu zero to 60 minute timer. I prefer a dive bezel to a conventional chronograph in most instances. I used to use mine to time the intervals remaining in tests, never mind diving. The dial, the old Omega Wave, this is what prevailed from 1993 until 2012 when the gloss dials briefly took over the range. Now, the wave dial is back in cut ceramic or I should say laser engraved ceramic for 2018, but most folks wish it had never gone away. All applique indices as well as Omega logo and marquee, this was the step up in quality from the pre-2006 pre-coaxial SMP 300s. And yes, it is a coaxial chronometer. It has the caliber 2500 inside. And because you're probably wondering, it's an either C or D. So either of the latter of the evolutions of the caliber, and I know because I put it on a chronoscope and it ran 25,200 vibrations per hour, so it's one of the latest evolutions of the 2500 base. The 2500, 27 joules, automatic winding, 48 hour power reserve, features both hacking or stop seconds and a quick set date. And you can see I can access both functions using the crown in its several positions. The timepiece, designed for true diving use, is also exceptionally suitable in a formal attire because it is so slim. You can see one of the changes from the earlier models, a redesigned case back, perhaps a little bit more modern, a little bit more deluxe. And of course the watch, always a blend of dress watch and sports watch, anything but the brutal profile of the later Planet Oceans or the not quite a dive watch surf turf aqua terra. This has always been the happy middle ground as well as wearable on the broadest range of wrists. A timepiece that is a coaxial, a chronometer, a diver, and if you want a dress watch, it could easily be your only watch. See it and make it yours on the watch box. Omega Seamaster SMP 300 meter by night. How much do you love that Omega even loomed the frames of the hands? See it by day on the watch box.